Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this video we're going to see how we can use positional representations inside of Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to start out with this mountain bike fork already open inside of Inventor, and we're going to use positional representations to show the compressed and extended strokes of the shock. I'll do this by expanding the representations folder, right clicking on position and choosing new. I'll get two P reps, positional reps, one named master and one named position one, which I'm renaming to extended. This will be the extended stroke, master will be the compressed. I'll go ahead, and go ahead and locate the part that has the constraint applied to it, right click on that constraint and choose override. Now I'll go ahead and override the offset and in this condition, I'm going to add three inches to the offset to represent a three inch stroke. You can see that the fork jumped and all I have to do now is double click on the different positional reps and the fork will go to the positions that I've designed in. It's as simple as that. Now let's go ahead and add one more. This one we're going to call free and this is going to suppress the constraint so I can freely drag the fork back and forth. So I've created that. I'll right click on the constraint and choose offset. Choose suppression this time and in this condition suppress that constraint. Now I can drag the offset freely back and forth, but if I want to go back to those states, I just click on them and those states are back. So just like that, I've created a couple of different positional reps, one to represent compression, one extended, and one representing a free condition. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch everyone.